All of our safety equipment we use in canyoning is really strong. And our anchors, which is what we connect our safety equipment to, need to be just as strong as the equipment we use. Now, when talking about anchors, there are some basic principles we should follow. If you've taken a rock climbing course or something similar, you've probably heard some acronyms like earnest or serene, which stand for things like strong, redundant, non-extending, and equalized. Now, in canyoning, we don't often use our anchors the same way as rock climbers do, but two of the most important principles for us is strong and redundant. So this tree here, this tree is greater than 15 centimeters. This tree is strong. Now, redundant, it's only a single tree. Redundancy can appear in two different ways. Either I could have two trees next to each other and I could uh, build an anchor around both of them, or I can create redundancy in material by using more than one strand when I tie this anchor onto this tree. The second principles we should be thinking about is our ability to retrieve the rope and how much rope abrasion there's going to be. This tree here happens to be really far back from the edge. I'm about 10 meters or so from the edge of that waterfall over there. So that means my retrieval might be really hard trying to pull the rope over the edge and it looks like I'll have a little bit of a corner. So this tree may not be the best choice. The other part I need to think about is abrasion. And the lower my anchor is down the tree, the more that that rope is gonna come down and roll over edges. So if possible, if I can build my anchor a little bit higher on the tree, uh, it can raise that rope up a little bit and I can miss those abrasion points. It's always gonna depend upon the anchor that you're dealing with on that day.